Imagine diving into the depths of the cosmos to explore planets not unlike our own Earth, yet intriguingly distinct in their atmospheric and chemical composition. What secrets do these distant worlds hold, especially those enveloped in thick, hydrogen-rich atmospheres? Could they possibly host exotic forms of life, hidden within vast oceans beneath their gaseous veils? Let's take a closer look at one such fascinating candidate, the sub-Neptune exoplanet K2-18b. Could this distant world hold the keys to understanding life's potential beyond Earth? The Kepler mission has unveiled a myriad of exoplanets, with a significant number classified between the sizes of Earth and Neptune. Recent observations suggest many of these sub-Neptunes might feature water-rich interiors, encapsulated by hydrogen-dominated atmospheres. The intriguing possibility arises. Under the right climatic conditions, these planets could harbor vast, liquid oceans beneath their gaseous layers, potentially fostering life as we don't yet know it. A prime example of such a world is K2-18b, a temperate sub-Neptune situated in the habitable zone of its star, receiving sunlight comparable to Earth. This positioning sparks considerable interest in the scientific community about its potential habitability and atmospheric properties. Recent studies leveraging data from the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, have intensified this interest, revealing compelling details about its atmosphere, including significant detections of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane. The findings suggest that K218b could be what astronomers call a Hycean world, a hydrogen ocean planet with a suitable environment for hosting liquid water oceans. This categorization springs from its atmosphere's characteristics, which are much more conducive to transmission spectroscopy due to their extensive scale heights compared to denser atmospheres composed primarily of nitrogen or carbon dioxide. Despite the detection of these gases, the atmosphere of K218b poses fascinating puzzles. The significant levels of methane detected, for instance, might imply biological processes as abiotic mechanisms alone could struggle to produce such quantities without extensive recycling from the planet's interior or from external sources. Additionally, while carbon monoxide is also expected to be present due to the photolysis of carbon dioxide, its exact levels remain contentious, further complicated by observational limitations. However, one of the most tantalizing aspects of K218b's atmosphere involves the possible presence of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a compound primarily produced by marine microbes on Earth and considered a potential biosignature of anoxic life. On our planet, DMS and related sulfur compounds are significant in biological processes, but they are rapidly destroyed in our oxygen-rich atmosphere, preventing them from accumulating to levels detectable from afar. This rapid destruction occurs despite the Earth's relatively high production rates of these compounds primarily from the activity of marine phytoplankton. The potential detectability of DMS and other sulfur compounds in the atmosphere of a high sea planet like K218b opens new avenues for the search for extraterrestrial life. Unlike Earth, the absence of a robust photochemical sink on the night side of tidally locked planets like K218b could allow these gases to accumulate potentially to detectable levels, especially if biological activity is significantly higher than that on modern Earth. To explore this possibility further, researchers have turned to sophisticated modeling techniques combining 1D and 2D photochemical models with 3D general circulation models. These models simulate how these biogenic gases might distribute globally and concentrate at the terminator regions, areas pivotal for transmission spectroscopy due to their edge-on view during planetary transits. These modeling efforts have suggested that for biogenic sulfur gases like DMS to reach detectable levels on Hycean worlds, their global biosulfur flux would need to exceed about 20 times the levels seen on modern Earth. Such high production rates could lead to a significant accumulation of DMS alongside companion bioproducts like ethylene and ethane, 
potentially detectable in the mid-infrared spectrum between 9 and 13 micrometers. This research underscores not only the complexities of exoplanetary atmospheres, but also the challenges in identifying biosignatures that could indicate the presence of life. Each discovery and model refines our understanding of these distant worlds, inching us closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? As we continue to observe the model planets like K218b, each piece of data adds to our cosmic mosaic, painting a picture of potential habitability and biological activity across the galaxy.